You know what time it is. It's time for another Strawberry Letter. Let's go get them. And also be sure to check me out every day this week, Monday through Friday, uh, for my Valentine's Day special. I'm going to be doing a Strawberry Letter every day. And here's today's letter. Let's go get them. All right. Okay, now to get down to business. So this past February 2nd, uh, my boyfriend of almost four years proposed. I am still on cloud nine. We are getting married this August in Mexico. Ooh, so excited, girl. Yes, it is. Uh, well, since my mom has found out that we're getting married, she hasn't shown much interest. My fiance called her and asked for her permission to marry me about a month ago, so she knew it was coming. I would think that she would be more excited and happy for me as I am her eldest daughter, and God has brought me over so many obstacles. Well, leading up to the days of my engagement, my fiance planned the entire party to propose to me. He got gathered friends, family, church family, co-workers, you name it. There were so many people there to share this moment with us. Apparently, my fiancé contacted my mom to tell her of his plans to propose this Saturday. She never responded to him. This seemed strange because she seemed to like my fiancé so much she even called him son while he was just my boyfriend. My mom, stepdad, and my siblings were all supposed to come. Well, the day of my proposal, my mom texted my little sister and told her they were not coming to the engagement party. So my little sister immediately contacted my fiancé and he got her to... He got her a bus ticket from Baltimore to Philly, and he had one of his friends pick her up. Do you know that she never contacted my fiance to offer an explanation? Also, she was not contacted. She has not contacted me to say congratulations or anything. While my engagement party was awesome, it still really hurt because she did not show up. I still can't believe it. And my mom raised me, and we were so close up until about a year ago. Nothing really happened. We just stopped talking as much. My mom can be a bit draining. And after one conversation with her, you can feel drained and down in the dumps from all the negativity. So we don't talk like we used to. Don't get me wrong, I love my mom and she's part of the reason why I am who I am today, but I can't be around with the negativity all the time. Uh, now here's the kicker. According to my sister, my mom's explanation for not coming is that she did not have the money. Mind you, my husband, mind me, the entire week, um... She had the entire week off, and the trip from Baltimore to Philly cost about $50 to $75 in gas, plus tolls at the max. So how about my mom dropped my sister and stepdad, my mom dropped my sister off to the a bus station, and she said that she, I'm going to summarize, you guys know, I cannot stand long letters. I cannot stand them. If you wrote me a long strawberry letter and I didn't get back to you, it's probably because it's way too long. I'm just keeping it real. But anyway, she goes on to say that her mom said that um, when she dropped them off to the bus station to go to the proposal, that um, she was going to go to the movies because she didn't have nothing else to do. Mm, shade. So anyway, the, the step, the daughter here is asking, is her mom jealous? Is that what's going on? And I want to say to you that you know, after reading everything that you wrote, I don't think that your mom is jealous. I think, well, not, not exactly. Um, the best way for me to explain this is, you know, you said that your mom's eldest daughter and you said that your mom raised you. You never mentioned a father. You did say your stepdad, but that sounded like that was later on in life. You grew up very close to your mother. Your mother may be um, kind of missing you, kind of missing the connection that you guys once had. I don't think that her intentions behind it are malicious. I'm a mommy of two myself. I would never wish any type of harm, anything bad on my two daughters. But if they were getting older and they were talking to me less and everything and they were, you know, getting closer to a guy when they're much, 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 much older, I, I would miss them. And I think that your mom is just missing you. And it's coming across as jealousy because you can't understand why she's not happy for you. I think deep down in your mother's heart, she is happy for you. But you yourself said for the last year, you haven't been as close. And you've been dating your fiance for four years. What, what I think that you may feel like all is all of the sudden, your mother may have felt like for the past four years, and the last year was even the, the worst one, that you've been pulling away from her and getting closer to this guy. And she's starting to build up a little bit of a sense of resentment towards him. She loved him. Like you said, she called him son. She's happy for you guys, but she still misses you. So what I think that you should do is let your mother know, reassure her that she's not losing you, that in fact, you're going to need her now more than ever because you've never been married before and your mother has. You've never been a mom before. You're going to need her through the mom stages. You're going to need her through the marriage stage. You're going to need your mom now more than ever. I would pray about your mom's negativity and your mom's negative spirit, but I would also do my best to try to rekindle that relationship because no matter what, you always need your parents. Trust me, you always need your mom, you always need your, your dad. You never outgrow that. 
Now, I'm not saying you need them for everyday life, like you're, they're picking you up from school and all the other stuff, but when you're talking about advice and you're talking about somebody who you know wishes nothing but the best for you, these your, your parents are the people who normally wish nothing but the best for you. And they're who you can talk to about any and everything. It's, it's the most beautiful sense of unconditional love for most parents that they love you so much they would do anything for you i think your mother is just missing you she's missing the closest the closeness that you guys once had and you may think of it as being jealous but i honestly don't think that your mom is being jealous i think your mom just misses her relationship that she had with her oldest daughter and she's been with you the longest, longer longer with you than any of your other siblings. And um, so I would pray about that. And I would definitely talk to your mom and let your mom know, include her in the process. What I would do is say, Mom, I really missed you at the, propos at the proposal party, but I'd really, really love it if you would help me with the, with the wedding. Uh, I would, for me personally, I would even possibly consider having my mother walk me down the aisle. If I didn't have a father, like you said, like I said, you never mentioned a father in this letter. I would say, Mom, you know, I think my, you know, me and my fiance have talked about it, and I would be honored since you have played the role of, of mother and father for my entire life. I would be honored if you would walk me down the aisle. I think that would show her that what. Like, you really do care. You really do want her to be involved. You really do still need her. To me, I think that that would be huge for your mother to show that that's who's been there for you. You know, in front of all these people, all these people at the church, yeah, this is my, this, she's been my mom and my dad, and I want her to give me away. And I think that'd be a really great thing, but I would definitely pray about your relationship with your mother, um... God can fix anything, even this. And I would include my, I would include her in all the stages that, you know, that she would want to be a part of. And even if, if all she wanted to do was do that, that would be fine. That would be fine. Um, you know, but ask her if she had some baby pictures of you. Um, so that you can put, like, when my husband and I got married, our, uh, wedding program, our wedding invitation had a baby picture of my husband and a baby picture of me. On the back and on the front, it had like a new picture of us two together to show like these two kids grew up to be these kids and now they're married and all that other stuff. So I would ask my mom for some old pictures and maybe do like a slideshow or something. And then the slideshow at the wedding would show like you growing up with your mom, like your mom showing you how to ride a bike or your mom, like all just include her in the wedding. And I and include her in, in your decision making. Just let her know, like, Mom, I really need you. I don't know what to do. I've never planned a wedding, and I thought you could help. Just kind of do things like that to involve her. But I don't think she's jealous. I just think that she misses you. And honestly, I think it's kind of sweet, even though she didn't do it the right way. She just misses you, her baby. Like, you know, you guys know I have two daughters. If Yana was getting married and going on to be with some man, uh, her husband, of course, going on to be with her husband, I would miss my baby. I would miss my baby, especially my oldest baby. I would miss my baby. That was the first one. And you guys, there's an age gap between my kids. So it's just me, my husband, and Yana for quite a while, like almost five years. I would miss my baby. And your mama misses her baby. All right? I love you guys. If you have anything good and positive to interject, be sure and do that. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time, later divas and dudes. Deuces.